Welcome to Dreams, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about some tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. All right, so let's talk about some tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier in Dreams. First one is going to be imp sensitivity. Now I know this one is kind of obvious, but this is the first thing that I did as soon as I started the game. It starts off at six, and if you go all the way towards the right, it'll basically make it very loose and fast. So that's depending on what your preference is. I like it to have it all the way over towards the left around three. I felt like that is more manageable for my preference. But as soon as you start the game, this is something you want to adjust as soon as possible. All right, so next we're gonna talk about double tap X. So if you want to select everything that you have on your screen right now, just don't move your imp for a second, double tap the X real quickly, and that will select everything that is on your screen. If you notice over to the right, I have 117 items that I selected very quickly. Typically what you do is just hover over an item, press the X, or you can hold down the X and then circle around any of the items that are around there that you want to select. But if you just want to quickly select everything and possibly maybe group them all up real quickly, just don't move your imp for a second, double tap the X and that'll quickly select everything that is on the screen. Next, we're gonna talk about sculpture detail. So if you go to the bottom left corner of the screen where your thermometer detail is, you'll notice that my graphic memory is at 96%. So one way of reducing this is by using the sculpture detail. So I'm gonna group everything up real quickly and then I'm gonna go all the way up to the top where the tools are and then I'll scroll over and select sculpture detail. So one thing to note is you can change, you can increase and decrease, right? So you press the triangle button to increase and you'll notice that your imp will be solid. If you want to reduce, your imp will have a white outline on it and it'll basically be almost invisible. You'll notice that there is an R2 button to reduce the detail. And if you want to reduce the most detail, you're gonna press the L1 and R2 together. So basically I'm gonna go around and then just reduce the most detail on every little thing. And if you notice towards the left, you'll see negative two, negative one. So that's basically showing you that you're doing this right. But I'm just gonna continue to do this until we can get it somewhere around 80 or so. I believe I get it to about 83. So I basically dropped it down at 13%. So if your graphic memory is starting to fill up, just go over to tools, sculpture detail, reduce everything so that you can bring that graphic memory down. Next, I wanna talk about a recording shortcut. So when you open up one of your soundboard, you're supposed to hover all the way over to the right to record. But instead of doing that, you can press the L3 and R3 button together and that'll automatically start recording. Press them again and that will stop recording. So if you ever wanna just quickly record right there on the spot, just press the L3 and R3 button together. So you don't need to hover over the button over to the right, you could just quickly press the L3 and R3 button. It's a quick shortcut for recording. Next, we're gonna talk about teleport. So if you wanna to get to point A to B very quickly, just select an item and then you're gonna press the L1 and R1 button together and then move your left stick forward. As you've seen, it just teleported me to that tree very quickly. So if I wanna to go to that mountain in the background, I'm just gonna press the X, select it, and then press L1 and R1 again together and then move the stick forward. So this is a very handy trick, and I know they go over this in the tutorial, but I just wanna remind everyone again, if you wanna get from point A to B very quickly, just select the item, press L1 and R1 together, and then move the left stick forward to teleport you to that location. Next is the sun and sky gadget. Things in dreams will automatically fade into the distance, but you can control how far that distance is. So if you go to the sky property and adjust a couple of settings, First one is the sky fleck, which I recommend having the setting at six, but you can test it out between four to seven and see what you like the best. Second is the fog range, and I recommend the setting to be at max. Just open the menu where the numbers are and type in 10,000. This is the max number for the fog range. These are the settings I recommend, and this will help with items far away that look transparent. Next is hold L3 to run. All right, so one thing I wish creators did more often is have an option button for their character that you are controlling to run. You can easily have it so that when you hold the L3 button, the character will run. Starting with a pre-made character, hover over it and then press the L1 in square to open the overall movement menu and then move it to the side. Then select the character and in front of it is the logic menu. 
press L1 and X to open it. Plus you might need to do it twice in order for it to open. Hover over the controller logic and then press L1 and X to open that. Next, hover over the controller sensor and press L1 and square to open it. At the top, you wanna to click on the controller number two and at the bottom, you will see the L3 button. You wanna connect a wire from the right of the L3 button to the left of the run speed and then do the same for the left side of the L3 button to the right side of the run speed. Last thing you need to do is adjust the run speed you want the character to run when you are holding down the L3. As you can see, the normal walking speed for the character, and then when you hold down the L3 button, the character takes off running. You can adjust the walking speed a little bit more if you want, and then adjust the running speed to however fast you want the character to run. But it's fairly simple enough to do, and it's a nice little option to have for your character that you're playing. Next is hold R2. So moving over to Art's Dream, the story mode of the game. And there is a couple story missions that where it's basically a sing-along and collect the prizes. If you hold the R2 button the whole time, all you have to do then is just hover over the prize and it will automatically pick it up because you're holding down the R2. There is a couple of these sing-along and collect the prizes. I think there is three of them in total. So this will just make your time a little bit easier in this so you don't have to replay it over and over again. Just hold down the R2 and then collect the prize. Now I have a guide for the locations to all 176 prizes. I'll have that link for you in the pinned comment. Next up is photos and comments. So I was stuck on a couple of these prizes and I went over to the photo section and I noticed that a couple people have actually taken photos of where those prizes are. Also in the comment section, I read a couple of them where it said something like, where is the last prize in this level? And someone respond back with the answer. These two are very helpful if you're having trouble trying to locate these prizes on your own. But more importantly, let's say you're playing someone else's creation, leave them a comment if you wanna learn exactly how they were able to do that, and hopefully the creator will answer your comments, or maybe someone that knows the answer will answer that comment for them. This is very useful, this section of the game, so if you ever get stuck or just wanna learn something new, check out the photo and comment section. All right, so a couple more things I wanna go over. Cloning doesn't add to your thermometer. Don't know if you ever played Hellblade developed by Ninja Theory, but this is something similar to what they did. They used less assets and rearranged them in a way to make them look different. This is something you can do with cloning. Use the same asset, but rearrange them in a different way. Too many puppets may lag your game, so keep that in mind if your game is lagging, just delete some puppets. You can realign the grid to an object with L1 and triangle. You can delete with the triangle button, to undo, press the left button on the D-pad, and to redo, press the right button on the D-pad. And the obvious one is to hover over an icon for a couple seconds for the tip menu to show up. All right, there you have it. Those are the tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. If there's anything that you would like to add, then please leave them in the comments down below. This game, there is a lot to it, so there's definitely more that people can learn. So please leave a comment with any tips and tricks that you might have. This will definitely help out the community. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time.